police are getting some high tech help. A new software is being tested in Boston to stop criminals, even terrorists, in their tracks. Tonight, Hank investigates. The marathon pictures are haunting. And also haunting is the question, what if? What if someone had seen those deadly backpacks sooner? What if someone could have moved them? What was in your heart when you saw that? It broke my heart. Absolutely broke my heart. Security expert Ray Kavanaugh showed me the possibility, the possibility that new video computer technology might have spotted those backpack bombs before they went off. Looks as if he's got something in his hand. Here's how it works. Watch this actual surveillance video on a California subway platform. As the train pulls in, a guy puts a backpack under a bench. If you were a security guard watching a massive bank of monitors like this, would you notice that? Now add the new technology and in real time a red warning box appears. The special artificial intelligence software knows something unusual is happening and sends an instant alert to security guards. It's essentially looking for something that hasn't occurred before. So if you've got a street corner, let's say, where people are milling about or or walking, you know, for, for periods of time, and someone takes something, a backpack or whatever, and leaves it and then walks away from it, that's anomalous behavior. Look here, someone's abandoned luggage at a train station. Bing, the software sees it. When this guy tries to climb over a fence, caught. A car theft in progress, stopped. Studies show human beings can only focus and accurately recognize problems for about 20 minutes. Software, though, doesn't get tired. It doesn't blink. It doesn't need to go, you know, take breaks and, and things of that nature. So it's just always running. Look at New York City's monitor room. Massive. But it uses a similar kind of smart camera software throughout the city. The system gives the officers an alert. Here's someone leaving a bag on the sidewalk. The software knows. It says it's an abandoned in the package at the Chrysler building. Just downhill to Reservoir Station. Think we need it in Boston? 7 News has learned the T is testing it right now. See this guy? He's not authorized to be in this subway tunnel, and the software caught him. The MBTA hopes to track intruders and crack down on fare evaders. This is going to provide information immediately to both a control center like this or Trans Police's dispatch center, and immediately we're going to know where people are in areas they should not be. So what about Boston Police? They told me they are not using this new smart camera technology yet. But like other law enforcement agencies across the country, they did say they are considering it. In the newsroom, I'm Hank Philippi Ryan.